Good morning. You know, the, typically the master of ceremony says, uh, our chief guest doesn't need an introduction, and then he goes on to read a page. The Minister of Industry, Commerce, Municipal Administration, Urban Development. Um, a very, very good morning to all of you. Uh, Honorable Chairman, Mr. National Chairman, Mr. Longia, Mr. BBR Mohan Reddy, the Convention Chairman, Mr. Mahendra Kumar, Mr. Gopal Krishna, to all the dignitaries, Mr. Subramani and others on the dais, and to all the dignitaries of the dais, and uh, especially to Mr. Ashok Reddy, who made me come here. Uh, thank you, Ashok Garu, for this opportunity. Um, <clears throat> to all the distinguished faculty from uh, Indian Institute of Material Management, Hyderabad and other places, and uh, to all the wonderful supply chain management professionals from across the country as well, and to my friends from the media, a very good morning, and I hope you'll have a fantastic conference over the next couple of days. Longya sab, baato baato mein, jo cheez aaj desh ko, matlab, desh mein badi achhe popular topic hai, unke baare mein apne kuch shabd keh diya, to main bhi kuch kehna chahta hu. Jab apne zikr kiya demonetization ki, to mujhe to laga, क्योंकि आप इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मटेरियल मैनेजमेंट हो मुझे लगा आप बात करोगे नोट सप्लाई चेन कैसे मैनेज करें नोटों की सप्लाई चेन जो है क्योंकि गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया को भी बड़ी दिक्कत हो रही है आई थिंक द बिगेस्ट चैलेंज विद डिमोनेटाइजेशन इज हाउ टू डू दिस सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट हाउ टू कीप द सप्लाई गोइंग ऑन हाउ टू इंश्योर दैट द कॉमन मैन ऑफ इंडिया डज नॉट सफर एंड दैट इज बीन अ बिग चैलेंज तो अगर सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट प्रोफेशनल बॉडी होने के नाते आप कुछ एडवाइस दे सकते हो मोदी साहब को तो जरूर दीजिए और जो भी जो भी हो सका जो, जो कुछ अच्छा निकला है तो अच्छी बात है और दूसरी बात बड़ा अच्छा मुझे और ताजुब भी लगा मुझे थोड़ा आ, मैं और मोहन रेड्डी साहब वही बात कर रहे थे आप बात करने लगे आईओटी की हमें तो खबर भी नहीं थी हम आईटी के मंत्री हैं हमें तो खबर भी नहीं थी कि आईओटी के जरिए आप पुलिस वालों को भी उल्लू बना सकते हो और कभी कभी एक बार आपका हेलमेट को आप हेडफोन बदल सकते हो ये नहीं पता था मुझे नहीं पता था बट अगर ऐसी कोई हेलमेट है मैं तो बस यही कहता हूँ रिस्पॉन्सिबल मंत्री होने के नाते हेलमेट हम हमारे लिए पहनते हैं पुलिस वालों के लिए नहीं है तो हमें <laughs> हेलमेट पहनना चाहिए हमारे लिए पुलिस वाला है या नहीं है तब भी हमें पहनना चाहिए नहीं मजाक में कह रहा था सर बुरा ना माने मैं तो बस सोचा कि बहुत बहुत सीरियसली चल रही है कॉन्फ्रेंस तो आई थॉट आई टेक दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड पॉसिबली दिस पॉइंट आउट टू अ कपल ऑफ थिंग्स दर आई थॉट वॉज ह्यूमरस मेनी कंग्रेचुलेशन टू नैट कॉम एंड द इवेंट ऑर्गेनाइजर्स फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग दिस इवेंट इन हैदराबाद Hyderabad today is in fact if you look at meetings incentives conventions and exhibitions we are number 2 second only to delhi in india last year and i am hoping that uh, uh, like on a lot of things and lot of counts hyderabad in my opinion is the best city in india mercer has consistently rated hyderabad as a city with the best quality of living in india and i do hope that hyderabad will become number 1 in india on every count including supply chain management professionals <laughs> honorable prime minister shri narendra modi has launched a very very big campaign a large campaign called make in india today if you look at uh, indian manufacturing scenario cutting across different sectors be it precision engineering automotive manufacturing medical devices textiles plastics you name it we import most of our stuff a country like china today has mastered the art of manufacturing so therefore we have ended up being a big importer of a lot of materials into our country the government of india is very keen to change the scenario so is government of telangana in fact as part of the make in india campaign state government of telangana has also launched its own make in telangana campaign with its own set of incentives with its own set of uh, with its own set of uh, uh, you know tax discounts etc etc benefits etc we've done reasonably well over the last couple of years in terms of attracting investments our new industrial policy has been acknowledged widely as one of the best in the country and uh, we've been trying to give the manufacturing sector a huge push automotive manufacturing in fact we've been able to attract some big names mahindra and mahindra manufacturers here ashok leland has recently decided to set uh, a large bus body uh, bus body building unit here and so on and so forth lot of zf another german company in fact they are also coming in with their engineering services division into hyderabad and we are trying to attract more and more manufacturing in fact in this process we are setting up a large medical devices park very very close to the outer ring road the eight lane expressway on which you may have traveled when you came into hyderabad very very close to it abutting it in fact 
we're setting up a medical devices park in about 400 acres in a place called Sultanpur. The reason why I mention this, medical devices has been a very, very uh, major, major importer. Today we import more than 80% of our medical devices. Now if India really has to manufacture medical devices here, we certainly need to understand the challenges. And therefore, in fact, last October, I was in the US meeting a lot of med devices companies, top companies in the world, trying to also invite them to manufacture in India and in Telangana. Now, not just med devices, but plastic manufacturing. Hyderabad, as you all know, is home to life sciences. In fact, we are the bulk drugs and chemicals uh, capital of the country. And we manufacture a lot of vaccines. We manufacture a lot of pharmaceuticals. And we are confident that uh, with improved material management, improved supply chain management, improved packaging standards, Hyderabad can definitely become a hub for manufacturing of a lot of different kind of uh, opportunities that exist in the country today with government of India really making a large push. My appeal to this body here, this August body here and August gathering here, I know IIM, IIMM in Hyderabad has been delivering the goods and has been trying to come out with initiatives and produce more and more supply chain management prof professionals. But uh, as you would admit, as you would appreciate, there is an acute shortage of quality human resources today in our country. I think as a national body, as a body full of experienced supply chain management professionals, I think I urge, I would like to urge this gathering here to deliberate, to ponder, to think and come out with initiatives on how you can help state governments in their efforts to build a manufacturing base, in their effort to add more quality supply chain management professionals to our, um, you know, our growth story. And I wish the gathering, I wish this conference a major success. Today is a lot I think this, today is the last muhurat or something before, uh, you know, the next good auspicious time comes in. In India, we believe in all these. So therefore, uh, you would have to excuse me because uh, I know there are a lot of distinguished speakers lined up, but you'll have to excuse me that I'm not going to be able to spend more time because I have a couple of shadis to attend and they have to travel like almost one hour to get, get to those uh, wedding halls. So once again, I wish this conference a major success. I wish all of your deliberations would be fruitful and uh, you would come out with some strong recommendations for future. Thank you very much for this opportunity.